Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. We're right this smack in the middle of answering uh, a lot of technical questions coming in on NextFlow. Here, what I want to address is the question about uh, vapor recovery. So while there's an option to add vapor recovery, it is such a different animal. It's a whole different modular system or add-on that would have to tack on to this. Not cheap by any means, but there's also the option of a, of a, well, I guess what I would call a vapor return. So as you're going through and diving into some of these necessities and specs, think about that, right? Do we really need a vapor recovery versus a vapor return? On my next video, I do want to highlight the differences between the two, but uh, quickly here, I want to just answer the question, right? Can we do it? Yes, right? Uh, should we do it? Well, that's up to you. So just remember those two options, vapor recovery, vapor return. The returns are a lot simpler. All we have to do is just take hoses and basically, you know, get everything back into the tanker or the, the original source. But that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna jump to the next one and I'm gonna keep doing this uh, as we go. But uh, hopefully this will help a lot of, you know, a lot of you guys uh, think about, you know, what is it that you truly need on some of these next flow units. I'll see you guys at the next video.